Hi everybody and welcome to a new Muse Machine video and welcome to our new playlist where we will try to cover all recent developments in AI for image generation where we show AI models, workflows and also developments in the software like today in ConfUI and especially ConfUI version 0.53. Now today we will dive into ConfUI and this version so if there are uh, new versions then please be aware that this might then not be the most recent update but for now for October 2025 this is I think kind of recent so without further ado I would say let's dive into ConfUI and see what kind of updates we have especially two major things we like the most is something we would like to show you so let's dive into ConfUI and well we start with a blank canvas in ConfUI and the first major update is the new template structure in ConfUI. So we go here simply to templates and we see a new template structure that has been organized by the ConfUI guys and I like it because it's kind of it's very clean it's separated by generation type or closed source models and also the extensions are listed as well. I have here in my case one extension and it also has some getting started uh, tab on the left hand side. I like it because now you really have the separation also to the closed source models because we here are focusing on the open source models. We have also here the new text to image with a brackets uh, called new. We will not click on it because we can generate what is in there with the second part of this short video. Namely we type in here in the search button the word Quen and we simply want to load the default model for the Quen text to image generation and there we are the very last one we click on it and if you have an error message spawn then most likely you do not have the four models you need to get Quen running it's actually the diffusion model the clip and also the variational autoencoder the red one here the LoRa you don't need to download it you can skip this part because if you have a powerful computer and also some patience you can compute the model with more steps as I already showed you in the previous videos. So we can, for example, just delete the LoRa part here. Let's get rid of that. And that's it. I would also suggest now first, let's remove all the notes here a little bit to clean up it a little bit. Of course, there's some important information, but for the sake of this video, I would like to simply delete it. And this note structure, it's kind of, it's not very overwhelming, let's say. Theoretically, if you zoom out, you can imagine that you can create workflows that are way more bigger. And also in our future videos, we will show more sophisticated workflows with a combination of image generation, video generation, and also audio addition, and maybe also 3D. The thing is now, however, that they introduce something called the subgraphs. And the subgraphs is something where you can say, okay, I have some notes. I don't want to change the settings anymore. I don't care. I would like to merge them a little bit together to be a little bit to clean things a little bit up. And for this, we are simply holding the control button. We click on the nodes we want to merge together. So let's take almost everything with us. And then we press here on this um, icon with the four arrows that are merging together. And it says convert the selection to a subgraph. Now we click on this and you see that the entire node structure has been com yeah, has been compressed to these to this single node. Now the different color schemes they don't make sense now here because we pressed everything together and we can also extend our structure because the cool thing is that the new subgraph sees that for example we have uh, some input like for example the text and the text remains per default as something we can still change. This is the default settings by the way from ConfUI. Now you can also change uh, the name, you can edit it um, accordingly and yeah you can also enter the uh, subgraph structure. But I would say let's go first to the entering the subflow uh, structure. We see here the small window button and then here on the top left you see the workflow and then slash the new subgraph. We can also rename it like I don't know the image gen part let's call it like that. And you can imagine it works or it looks a little bit like a folder structure. Yeah? We have like our major folder and then we have our subfolders where we have all the different subgraphs entangled together that provide the, for example, particular content, like in our case, the image generation part with Quen. Now we can make our changes, of course, uh, here in the settings. And you see here also this purple line that is around the text blocks and also around the seed. This indicates which parts are exposed to the merged uh, subgraph. 
So we go back and we see that the seed, the negative prompt and the positive prompt are part of the structure. So you see here positive, negative and the seed. We can now simply press the run button, but um, yeah, it will generate an image most likely, right? So what we can do instead um, to show you a little bit more what's going on with this widget structure is we can click here on the edit subgraph widgets. So on the right side, we have now our parameters that we can change. So for example, we say, nah, negative prompt is something I don't really care. So we can simply click on the I symbol and it's being removed. And maybe something else is more important because we would like to uh, edit the width and the height of our images. So we simply click here width and height on the I symbol. And then also we want to rearrange the seat to the very bottom. So we do it like that. And that's it. Yeah, we can really customize our uh, node structure as, as we want it to do. So if we now go back to the subgraph part uh, here, then we see that the width and the height, the positive prompt and the seed are being marked. So we go back now here to our main graph and now we can simply click on the run button and everything works as you already know. You can go here inside, see what happens. So the green um, uh, border always indicates what kind of process is currently running. This is the camp case sampler now, so the generation of the image. And it also is loaded here in our merged node. So we can now wait. And as you see, everything is really clean. So you can also create your own, let's say, um, uh, blueprints yeah, for your particular workflow where you say, okay, I have a workflow, especially for architecture or for my illustration work or so. You can simply generate these kind of graphs and then use them also for your other workflows. And this makes work more reproducible and more easy to understand and use and also easier to share with others. So you don't have to bother them with all the different nodes. You just show them here the most important information that need to be changed for your image generation. For example, the number of steps cannot be changed in this particular case because maybe you found out that for your workflow, you don't need to change it at all. Now this is the, um, the default workflow from the Quen team. And well, this is all we wanted to show you today in the new Comfy version 0.53. And also big thank you to the Comfy UI team for providing this amazing feature. Thanks everybody for watching this video. And thank you also for this growing community now with a few more subscribers and also the views we have and also the comments. So if you like the video, if you think our content is important for your work or so for your colleagues or other persons you think they like using Comfy and need an interesting and easy to use entry point, suggest them our account, suggest them our channel. And also don't forget to subscribe and like the video, please. It really helps us to grow as a startup. It really helps to grow us as an educational platform and also for our workshops we provide in another context in the offline world. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you next time.